Question, what are you going to not start doing again? That's one of the most interesting questions that I've been thinking about as a result of all the COVID stuff that's happened this year. And I wanted to put it before you as well. Here's what's happened for most of us is our lives got real simple for a while, right? Everything we were doing sort of got shut off. And as I've had pastoral conversations with a lot of people, you know what I've heard a lot of people saying? I've heard a lot of people saying, yeah, I don't know that everything I was doing even mattered or that I would want to start doing it again. Um, a lot of families in our church are sort of appreciating the ability to eat dinner together, the sort of release from a lot of kids' activities. Even the change in school rhythms for some people has been like a, a breath of fresh air. And so I want to encourage you to ask for your own life and especially for your spiritual disciplines, hey, what do you just need to not start doing again? Uh, what increased simplicity do you just need to embrace? I wonder if part of what God is doing this year, 2020, is, is helping to just forcefully, <laughs> sovereignly reorient our existence and take some things out of our lives to help us ask the question, okay, what do we want to put back in? I want to make sure that you don't miss that opportunity. We're even asking that as a church. Hey, of all the things that we do, what are the things we should just stop doing because they weren't that effective anyway? And, and now that we're not doing them, should we restart different things? And, and that's an open question for us right now, even as a church. So I want to encourage you to ask that question as sort of a, a vehicle for discipleship. Um, hey, it was great to see a bunch of you this morning. And I want to continue to encourage you uh, to make your way back to church um, and I want to say again, I still am not aware of anyone in our church who's come down with COVID. Um, I'm sure that will happen eventually. And so if that's you, I want to remind you of what our protocol is, that what we'd ask of you, if you're a part of the Columbia Church family and you do test positive for COVID, is would you please let Becca know at the church office so that we can just do our part proactively. Um, again, I can't make you do that. It's a request I'm making of you um, because I'm sure that'll happen at some point. And so we just want to be proactive in how we're thinking about that. Um, as we move toward the fall, we're continuing to think about, all right, how do we want to handle protocols for ministry? As I told you last week, seems like our social distancing plan for worship is working really well. And so we're going to stick with that for now. Um, but we're always reevaluating and rethinking, all right, how do we continue to worship the Lord together, but in a way that uh, makes sense for our current circumstances? I know that we're heading toward the fall quickly. And a lot of you are starting to ask questions about what's the school year going to look like? And what's our life going to look like in the fall? A lot of that is still unknown, but the good news is we know what next Sunday is going to look like. It's going to look like Psalm 20. It's going to look like Kevin Huddleston. It's going to look like thinking about the Psalms together. And so I'm looking forward uh, to seeing you then. I'll see you next Sunday as we continue our journey through the Psalms.